What's happening, guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 2. Alright, right here we're going to encounter a brand new enemy, and I believe they're called Piders. Get it? Spider, Piter, ha ha ha, very funny. Anyways, yeah, these guys really aren't that bad. I mean, what do you expect out of a spider? And pretty much the only thing they can do is shoot balls. So yeah, you gotta watch out for balls. And this is totally pointless, what the hell. Flurry must have one horrific kiss if she made that audience member run away. Holy crap. She must have gingivitis or something. Maybe AIDS. Who knows? <laughs> oh, shut up, man. Just shut up. Come on. Seriously, I'm just talking bull crap now. Just be quiet. Alright, for some reason, I can't tell if they're going to hit Mario or Flurry because... <laughs> I don't know, it's just kind of awkward. And sometimes, instead of shooting just one ball, they'll shoot three. So you gotta watch out for that, and be ready to block them. Alright, yeah, Flurry, use all your weight to kill them. And that's pretty much it. Very simple. And three star points for each, so it's pretty cool to grind off them, I guess. Well, actually, no, because they don't reappear. They don't respawn, so, oh well, too bad. So just blow this Voss away, this vase, and there's an airplane panel. And unfortunately, the punies can't come with us. They have to wait for the next flight. Oh well. And I believe there's a shine sprite down here? Yes, it is. Alright, come on, get it. You got a shine sprite? Now let's just go back up and pick up our punies. Our Pikmin. Man, it would be epic if you find Captain Olimar in here and just have a fight with him or something. That would be so totally epic. <laughs> imagine, just imagine. You know what, I kind of want to fight with this piranha. I want to show off the Thunder Rage. I don't think I've showed it off yet. And perfect, there's four enemies. Man, just excellent. Use it. Zeus, lend me your powers! And it kills them all in one shot. How fantastic. It deals five damage to each enemy on the field. I mean, how badass is that? That is just one badass item. Get the freaking coin, man! Jeez, I'm just running back and forth, doing nothing. Alright, so, where does this go? Oh, yeah. What's that? What the hell? Mario, did you see it? That was a jabby. Based on what Puniper said, they're helping the intruders and trying to seize the tree. Our tribes have been enemies for a long time now. Every time we meet, we fight. But I used to get along with Jabble. He's of the Jabby tribe. I wonder if even Jabble is my enemy now. Well, chances are he is. So you better forget about him. Don't you forget about me. Oh, what do you know? Everyone, it's the Jabbies! It's the 10 Jabby Squadron! Uh, let's get him! Come on, Mario! Well, what do you want me to do? Eat them? Jeez. Alright, so yeah, these guys are very... These guys, guys... Southern accent or something. These guys are pretty easy. They're very simple. So yeah. Just blow with them flurry. Wow, we did it. We defeated every last Jabby here. Okay, enough with that. <laughs> Alright, so now they have to destroy the Jabby High Fortress. Like the Ing High Fortress in Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Man, that game is awesome, but confusing as hell. Oh my god, I don't know if I'll ever LP it. I don't have Metroid Prime 1, but I'll probably get around to Metroid Prime 2. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't even finished it yet, so we'll see. I'm at Sha Shankwary. Wow, Sanctuary Fortress. I can't talk. Blue key. Nice. Yes, with this key, we should be able to open the cell my people are locked in. Hurry! We have to free my sister and the others. <laughs> that reminded me. Oh, well, first of all, these symbols are important for later on, so yeah. Keep in mind. So yeah, like I was saying, when he said hurry, that reminded me of, like, one of my math teachers. Um, wait, I think there's a cutscene here. Yeah, hold on. And they'll never come back, and that's that, and that's what's gonna happen to us, and... Hey, by the way, what's that thing you've been holding onto so tightly? It's a mushroom. Oh, not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and gross. Yeah, 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 I know. I picked it so I could give it to my brother to eat. Because I want to poison him, I want him to die. Because it's all dried out. Oh, really? Great story. Anyway, don't worry so much. All my complaining aside, I'm sure Punia will return. 
Alright, like I was saying, I used to have a math teacher, and um, actually it was like in 7th grade, I believe, and every time he would assign us a, like, a, assign us an assignment, <laughs> yeah, very nice right there, um, every time he would do that, oh, battles! Ugh. Alright, that wasn't so bad, but we have another one right here, so hold on. Alright, that was kind of bad because there were four piters and I just decided to use Flurry to just blow them away from my face. So yeah, if you use Koops right there, this invisible block appears so you can get that badge, and it's the... Um, whatever it was called. <laughs> the, the thing for the partner. So yeah, like I was saying, this teacher, every time he would assign us something, he would say, Quickly! Quickly! Get it done! Hurry! Hurry! And it was just so funny the way he said it. I don't know. <laughs> it's just... awkward. Yeah, this guy is not important. He's like, oh, I'm just hiding here. Blah, blah, blah. What to be looking for? You have any idea? Yes, but I'm not gonna tell you. So yeah, they have some interesting stuff in here, in the shop. They have, like, mushrooms and syrups and ice storm. I'm gonna buy it, see if I can showcase it later on. It's pretty cool. And the other stuff is kind of, yeah, you know, not very good. But yeah, um, ooh, star piece, I didn't know that was there, holy crap. So yeah, this teacher, he was just so crazy, everyone thought he looked like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo or something. And he was just so crazy, like, every time he assigned something, he's like, quickly, quickly, quickly! Like, he was always hyper or something, I don't know. Like, whenever, oh, holy shit, that was close. When Punio said that, it just reminded me of that. He would say quickly and hurry. It was just so funny. Everyone would make fun of him and stuff. And yeah, <laughs> I, I just remember that. And it was like in seventh grade, I believe. Anyways, yeah, now where we have to go is all the way back up there to the cells. So yeah, I mean, well, it's not that bad. I mean, we're halfway there. And um, yeah, there's a lot of backtracking in this chapter, so you gotta get used to it. And a lot of pipe travel, too, so <laughs> it can get a little tedious, but really, it's not that bad get used to it after a while. Now just go up here. Backtracking for the win. For the loss, actually. I hate backtracking. Not like in Metroid Prime, though. Backtracking is fun. Like NCS says, it's just so fun, you just don't want to cut it out. Like in Metroid Prime 2, oh my god, there's a lot of backtracking there. and The world is so big. It's just freaking crazy, man. It's crazy, I tell ya. Crazy. Can't wait to LP that. Holy crap, it's gonna be difficult as hell. Alright. Pitsuni, I'm back! We brought the key! We're opening the cell right now! Well, not now, because we're still here, so hello. Alright, yeah, might as well open it. Who cares? And they're all free! Holy crap! Big Brother! Okay, that's not the right voice. Little Pitsuni! Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Well, that one puny that was talking to me, he kind of hit me with his little ball on his head, so yeah. I meant to give this to you sooner, but... Mushrooms are your favorite, aren't they, big brother? But, well, this one kind of got dried out, so I'm trying to poison you. Oh, oh nasty. Oh, big brother. It was icky, wasn't it? Good. No, oh, not at all. Mmm, delicious. Very, oh, very... Oh, yummy. Big brother, are you dying? Give me a hard patoonie. Oh, he's not dying. Oh, never mind. We get all mushy, everyone's staring. Well, I'm not staring. Yep, you got that right. Oh, it was nothing. Oh, it's so cute. Alright. What? 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 90 punies have joined your party? What the hell? Dude! What the hell? We have a hundred and one punies! It's totally not ripping off Dalmatians and Pikmin! What the hell? Dude, hold on. Dude! What the hell? I lost some punies, dude. Dude, dude, where's my car? Come on. What the hell? Who's back here? Oh, it's Patuni! So you're the one who's entertaining them. What the hell were you doing? Damn. Doing some exotic dance or something? Jeez, man. Just follow me. Alright, so yeah. 
Wow, we have 101 punies. Wow, that's just insane. And you're probably wondering, wow, are we going to blow them across the pit? Yes, 101 punies blowing across the pit of bubbles. Yeah, look at this. Yep, we have to stand here a longer time. Actually, not that long. There we go. Alright, that wasn't so bad. It was actually pretty easy. So yeah, now we have to begin the backtracking once again. Like I said, there's a lot of backtracking in this chapter, and that's why a lot of people actually dislike it. But the fact that you can carry around punies with you is just fantastic. It's pretty awesome. It's a brand new concept you never thought you'd see, so yeah. I pretty much just tried to enjoy this chapter to its fullest and just ignore the backtracking. Because there is excessive backtracking, but wait till you see chapter 4. Oh my god. I'm sure many of you have seen it already because there's quite a few LPs of this going on right now, but... Oh my god, I just... <laughs> I'm actually kind of dreading to go to that chapter. But anyways... Now that we have all these punies with us, we can go all the way over here to this door. I don't think I ever pointed this out. And this looks familiar, right? Yes, more jabbies. And many of them. A whole army. And they're getting assembled like the Nazis. Yeah, not that I would know. <laughs> Whatever. Everyone, it's the Nazis! It's a 100 Nazi squadron! Uh, charge! Alright. Now here you definitely want to use Flurry to help out because <laughs> there is a lot of them, so... And they will obliterate your punies in no time. So just try to blow them against the wall and once you see stars, you'll know that you're doing something, so yeah. See, like right there. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Whoa, we beat him! We killed every last jabby here. Now let's destroy the jabby high fortress. Alright, go ahead. Be my guest. <laughs> Look at this battlefield here, holy crap. World War II or something? Jeez. Damn. And that's that. So yeah, um... I think we're kind of running low on time. Not sure. But anyways, yeah, we're going to stop the video right here, and next time, we will progress through the Boggly Tree and find the Emerald Star. See you guys later.